Today's episode is pretty special. We'll be heading into PSB Academy's campus to... Wait, wait, wait. what's going on there? What, what's going on? Ah! Is there anybody here? What was going on? He was already here when I came. <gasps> we need to solve this murder mystery. Shouldn't we just call the police? It's in every man's business to see justice done. We are going to use the science of fingerprints to solve this cold blood and murder mystery. Step one of crime solving is to first find the fingerprints. Pretty sure that's not how it works. If we are looking for fingerprints, we need to find the murder weapon first. <gasps> Elementary Dr. Watson, of course I know that. Actually, I'm set far and I'll be explaining how to do fingerprint detection and analysis today. The reason why we leave fingerprints behind is because our fingers are usually tainted with substances such as moisture, grease or sweat. And this is just due to the human nature of us touching everything. So these substances are sort of stuck between the ridges of our fingers that make up our fingerprints. And when we press onto a surface, these substances will be transferred over as well, forming fingerprints. MJ, come here and look what I found. Ooh. <gasps> Great job right there. Let's head to the lab. It's time to solve this crime. Shouldn't we save this guy first? Hey, where are you going? Hey, come back. You guys probably already know that our fingerprints are unique to each and every individual, which is also the reason why it is most commonly used for identification and documentation purposes. But why exactly are fingerprints unique? Well, the lines that make up our fingerprints are known as friction ridges and it is the result of both your genes and the environment. So the genes that you inherit from your parents give us the basic design of our fingerprint patterns aka your whorls, your arches and your loops which are formed while you are still growing as a fetus in your mother's womb. The friction ridges appear when the inner layer and outer layer of your skin meet as they grow together. However, these skin layers don't grow at the same speed for every fetus and there are also blood and nerves growing below the skin that affect the friction ridges. Also, a fetus moves around a lot and often rubs against the side of the womb. So all these factors give rise to very detailed differences and result in unique fingerprint patterns. Fingerprints are unique, just like how everyone is unique in their own way. So even twins do not have the same set of fingerprints. And it this way. Firstly, we need to dust all over with fingerprint powder. This actually works because, as mentioned previously, our fingerprints are mostly made out of oil and moisture. So when we apply the fingerprint powder, it actually sticks onto these substances really well. Next, we use a transparent tape to lift the fingerprint off the surface so that we can preserve them or place them on a clearer background so that we can visualise them better. Of course, now with technology, there are various advanced methods such as chemical reagents and even UV light to detect and collect fingerprints that cannot be collected that easily. Once the investigators have extracted and collected the fingerprints, they can then compare it with their huge database of fingerprints to find out who the culprit is. It is stupidity rather than courage to refuse to recognize danger when it is close upon you. PSB Academy will be having its STEM virtual open house on the 12th of June. There will be workshops and webinars of various activities that will all be live streaming on that day. What you have seen earlier on about the forensic science behind fingerprinting is just one of the things that you'll get to learn at PSB Academy. At the open house, there will be live stream sessions relating to the IT, engineering, sports science and life sciences sector. To find out more about PSB Academy and the courses they offer, do check out the link in the caption of this video. Just keep thinking! I'll see you there!